When we think about inclusions in amber, the first thing that comes to mind are usually the mosquitoes, then diptera flies, beetles, ants and spiders. These are not the most rare things that can be found in amber, with exception of the mosquito, but the most popular inclusions. Turns out amber is capable of trapping and preserving beings from the so-called microcosmos. 16 million years ago, in the modern La Cumbre, a region of the Dominican Republic, one such organism got trapped in dripping raisin and fossilized to the modern days. It was a tardigrade, other vines known as the water beer, also called the moss piglet. Tardigrades are celebrities of the microscopial world, and this specific one became a celebrity in the ember world. And it's not the only being from the microcosmos that was discovered in amber, there's also the mold beaks, which are a bit more common to find, but, but are exceptionally important for the science. Mold beaks do resemble tardigrades from the appearance, but they are not related at all. Tardigrades are ancient lineage that has seen it all on Earth, from the fall of the dinosaurs to the rise of terrestrial colonization of plants, Yet, they are like a ghost lineage for paleontologists, with almost no fossil record. I would guess their size and soft body composition is the answer for poor fossilization, and that's where the amber shines, with its exceptional preservative qualities of any organic matter. The specimen that was discovered might not look like in great shape, but all the distinct anatomical features that was needed for identification are preserved, four pairs of legs, stout body and barrel-shaped head. The fossilized water beer represents a significant milestone, as it provides scientists with a glimpse into the ancient world and offers invaluable insights into the evolutionary history of these microvertebrates. This extraordinary find represents the oldest known record of tardigrade preserved in amber. The new fossil enabled scientists to identify this never-before-seen species of tardigrade, which they called Paradophirbius chronocaribius. The fossilized water bear provides us with unique opportunity to unlock the secrets of tardigrade survival. By analyzing its anatomy, we can compare it to modern tardigrades and gain a better understanding of how they adapted over millions of years. Tardigrades have colonized a wide range of, of environments, from the deep sea to the highest mountain peaks. Their ability to enter state of suspended animation called cryptobiosis has played a crucial role in their success. Cryptobiosis allows tardigrades to survive harsh conditions by essentially shutting down their metabolism. They can survive extreme temperatures, dehydration, and other environmental stresses for prolonged periods. But how did this tardigrade end up trapped in amber? As mentioned before, they have colonized a wide range of, of environments, moist environments, and could survive in small puddles that was in the leaves or on top of wet moss or lichen. And moist wet environment is exactly what it was 16 million years ago in the Dominican Republic. As depicted in this illustration, it might have lived in one of these tiny water puddles, just under the raisin producing tree. Now, let's shift our attention to another extraordinary microvertebrate preserved in amber, the mold pig. Mold pigs, scientifically named Celamorpha dominicana, are an enigmatic group of microvertebrates. Though they share visual resemblance with water bears, they cannot be classified within the same family. Mold pigs have elongated bodies and exhibit molting behavior, leaving behind mold-like exoskeleton traces. The discovery of mold pigs trapped in amber has intrigued scientists worldwide. Their unique combination of characteristics similar to both tardigrades and mites challenges traditional classification systems. Despite their distinct features, these creatures defy existing categorization, highlighting the complexity and diversity of the natural world. 
water bears are known to inhabit diverse habitats, from freshwater ecosystems to mosses and lichens. On the other hand, mole pigs remain shrouded in mystery regarding their natural habitats and ecological roles. All we know that it was also discovered in the Dominican Ember, so they should have shared similar environment as the water bears, and they was probably omnivores, feeding on other microcosmos dwellers and fungi. As we conclude our journey through the microvertebrates of ancient ember, we stand in Ave of the secrets preserved within these ancient relics. The discoveries of water bears and mold peaks offer us a window into the microscopic wonders of our planet and remind us of the countless mysteries that await our exploration. And yeah, that's all I have for you today. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, subscribe to the channel and hit that like button. It keeps me motivated to do more videos like that. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.